All week we've taken you inside the Oakland County child killer investigation that still grips this community. Tonight you're hearing from the lead investigator who's been a big part of our coverage about where the case stands. Local Ford defender Kevin Dietz is live with him in Royal Oak at a missing in Michigan event. Good evening, Kevin. Yeah, hi, we're at this fundraiser, which is going on until 10 o'clock tonight, and they're raising money for the charity to try and help families who have missing children. Uh, joining us now is Corey Williams, who is one of the lead investigators in the Oakland County Child Killer case. And what people are asking after watching that hour special last night is there's all these suspects out there, but how do you actually get to somebody? Do you have to follow the DNA, the science? Well, of course, we have to... Uh We've followed many leads in this case and exhausted many large leads. When I say exhausted, those are some lengthy investigations. And most of the time, we try and swap the people for DNA. Um, I talked to a scientist recently from the Michigan State Police DNA Lab, and she explained to me that new DNA software technology is being developed all the time. So we're, we're real excited about that and the fact that even old DNA material with the new technology, we may be able to develop some profiles down the road. And all the suspects we've talked about in the past, maybe they were involved in some big ring, maybe they weren't, but the actual physical evidence we have, the forensic evidence we have, is just not a direct match at this point, right? Well, the evidence we have is called mitochondrial DNA, and it's specific to a family um, through the mother's uh, paternal line or uh, maternal line, and uh, which is different than nuclear or autosomal DNA. Okay, thank you so much. And they have, you know, thousands of tips came in on this case, and they have put hundreds of bad guys away as a result of all these investigations. And they still think that they will one day solve the case of the Oakland County child killer. Reporting live from Royal Oak, Kevin Dietz, Defenders. Yeah, and it's fascinating still 40 years later. All right, Kevin, thanks.